Hey, everybody. Uh, this is not Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek, but we are some of his favorite Land Geeks, I'm sure. Um, we are hosting today for Mark. He had to hop out uh, last minute. Uh, we have just a couple usual suspects today. Uh, a couple is two, right? So a trio, trio of usual suspects. <laughs> um, I, I'm Scott Boskin. I've been a member of uh, the Land community since 2015 and part of the Land Geek team for quite a while. And then we have... Uh, uh, Tria Harris, um, uh, putting up, wait, putting up the reps, Harris, is that what it is? And then the reps, you gave me the name. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I, I had a, I had a momentary lapse there. And then we have, uh, AI investor, the aquatic investor, Landon Harris with us. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Doing well, man. Good to be here with you. You guys just had a move, just had a, a, had a move, didn't you? We're Here. in the middle Still in it. of the move. <laughs> Still in it, man. <laughs> middle of the move. I hope you hired everything out because moving is the most stressful thing. We did. We did. <laughs> and then I thought I was going to take on some of myself. I'm like, why did I do that? <laughs> yeah, right? You're getting old now, Lynn. You got to watch the back and all that stuff. So. Oh, it's exactly. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> uh, well, we were uh, tasked with coming up with a topic today as well. And... Uh, we thought just because we've been through the trenches in this business, right? We would talk about, you know, the, the dream is passive income. We talk about it all the time, right? Uh, this is the best passive income model. When you get to the point where your passive income exceeds your fixed expenses in life, there's this huge paradigm shift for you, right? So we thought about brief, uh, we thought that we would maybe talk briefly about, you know, what, what has uh, for us, achieving a high level passive income what has that done for us personally and just, and just practically like how have things changed for us and hopefully this will be uh somewhat motivating for for people who are listening for the first time 10th time 100th time uh because this business is a it is a marathon not a sprint right uh you, yes. you're probably not going to exceed your fixed expenses in one year uh, it's not that's not impossible but for most of us i was average right? Maybe a little above average, but it, it takes a little while. So I guess, Tria, why don't you speak first about uh, the passive income kind of, we, we all got into this because of the passive income dream yeah. and uh, what what that journey has been like and what it's resulted in for you guys. So for us, it has been um, incredible. I'll, I'll say, and, and I we talk about this publicly, our journey to passive kind of started slow. Um, and in the beginning, it took us some time to kind of get our passive system going. So when we first got out of flight school and even into kind of the first part of coaching, we the goal was to get the passive moving as quickly as possible. And like most people, we're like, yeah, we want to be at, you know, $10,000 at the end of the year. And, and we quickly realized, you know, it takes some time to build up to that. So ours started off a, a little bit slower than we wanted. And so what we did in order to not lose momentum and not, you know, to feel um, stalled, we would do wholesale deals. You know, we still, we did some, some cash deals if we could, but mostly wholesale. And we did that until we were able to get the passive moving. And once that path started moving, I mean, it started really moving for us. But, um, and in terms of how it's changed our lives, I'll, I'll say this and I'll let Landon speak. Um, we've, this is our second move in two years, right? Mm -hmm. So we, we left Georgia, um, we moved to California, uh, and we knew we, we wouldn't be there for very long. It, it was a pit stop. We have a son there and now a granddaughter there. So, we knew we would go there, spend some time with them, and then go to a place where we could actually afford to live. And so we knew it, it wouldn't be very long, but it was this business that allowed us the ability to, you know, leave where we were, go spend some time in California, and then ultimately, you know, move to Arizona where we currently are. So it's completely changed um, our lives. If We'll be in Atlanta next month. We'll be on the Alaskan cruise in July. So we have gotten the ability to do what we want to do, sort of when we want to do it, and who we want to do it with, which happens to be with each other. 
for now. So we're enjoying, we're enjoying that, that part of life. And we owe, we owe most of that to this business. Yeah. Working where you want, when you want and with whom you want whenever. Mm -hmm. And and you guys are doing that. And that's, that's, you know, I can speak to that as well. You know, we'll, um, you know, maybe take a little bit of a vacation somewhere or take a few days off or, you know, and it's, uh, you bring your laptop with you, you do an hour or two of work in the morning and you're kind of set for the rest of the day. I mean, right. that, that's a, that's a pretty great life. Um, you know, another reason this business is so conducive to, to travel, uh, you know, we have people doing this in their RVs across the country. Um, Absolutely. you know, Larry Overstreet is, is, uh, killing it in the land business and has been living full time in an RV for almost five years now doing this business oh, yeah. every day. Yeah. And I know he works really hard to begin with, you know, he was putting in multiple hours a day to begin with, but now, you know, he's got things so built out uh, that he's able to spend an hour a day or less, uh, in this mm -hmm. and travel the country and see the world and spend time with his family, which I know is very important for him. Uh, so what about you, Landon? Can you speak to, uh, what, what's the passive income done for you personally, practically? <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, I mean, I think about it and I have to really have to go back and really think about all the things that have just evolved in the past few years. Um, one, it's allowed me to retire um, from my full-time uh, coaching position and that I'd done for 27 years. Um, that job did not allow me time to spend with family, to travel, um, and just to do some things that I felt like really were important. Um you know, now I have the freedom to, you know, work a few hours, maybe a day. And maybe, or actually, I want to say a few hours a week. It's gotten to that point where, you know, I have to delegate, you know, we, we've delegated everything out. We work for a few hours and now we're able to kind of go do some things. So like Taria said, um, you know, I'm able to travel. Um, I'm able to spend some more time with family, which like that was a big, big factor for me. Um you know, I'm able to serve my church now. You know, these were things I couldn't do. I had no time. I read more. I have time to read, which is crazy. Um, so, you know, there there are a lot of practical things that were um, that happened as a as a result to being in this business, and you know, getting to a point where the passive would take over your. First, it start with, you know, can we get our path to take over the bills and the expenses of the business? Then it gets to the point where, okay, well, it's adding a little bit into the household. Well, then now you get to a point where, yeah, I can retire. I can move on and do some things um, that I want to do. So, yeah, like I, I've, yeah, I, I can't say enough about where we are. And the crazy thing is we're still looking, building and going further, you know? So it's it's one of those things where, this business is just such a unique niche. Like it, there's, I can't think of anything out there that's like it. I cannot think of anything out there that has matched or that can equate to kind of what this does for us. So um, for me, it's been excellent. Loving it. Loving it. Still want more. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. No, that, those are all amazing points. I mean, it, and it's interesting how your perspective changes the longer you do this, but I'll never forget the first term deal where, okay, $130 a month is coming in now passively, right? And and at that time, that was a significant amount for me, right? And I, you know, Mike Zeno and I talked about this a lot in the past. Um, you, you think about uh, replacing certain things, like you said, Landon, right? Like 130 bucks a month, okay, that's a utility bill. And then you get up to four or 500 and that's car bill. And then you get up a couple grand and that's the mortgage. And then it just keeps going. Right. And uh, mm -hmm. it's just amazing to, to have felt and experienced uh, what that is, what that is all about. Putting kids, kids to college now on the business, right? Yeah. Like uh, people, people grow it to that point. Um, and, and I think the biggest thing for me is um, I'm, I'm a big I read a lot and there's something that struck me a number of years ago. And I talked about this at boot camp a little bit. There's a poem by, um, uh, William Ernest Henley. It's called Invictus and it's kind of a dark poem, but it talks about how over time in life, you can kind of get bloodied and battered a little bit, uh, and your head can hang low and that type of thing. And, 
but but there's this turning point where you know maybe an opportunity comes to you or you have have um, something comes your way uh, that enables you to be the master of your own fate, right? Mm-hmm. Which I was not before. Uh, anybody working for corporate America or in the healthcare field or a teacher or whatever, really, when you look at it, the, the nuts and bolts of every day of your work, right? Like you're not really the master of your fate, right? Um, you're not the captain of of your your destiny in that type of setting. Um, and for me to be able to completely transition into, into, a, into a different role where I was kind of a cog in the machine. Now I liked doing that. I helped a lot of people, but mm-hmm. I kind of, I kind of pivoted and I kind of segued into this new role where I was more in charge of, of where I and my family were going. And it's been very liberating uh, in that regard. And now uh, I love being a PT more than ever because I can just go in without stress. Right. <laughs> and I was just there this morning, you know, three hours in the clinic this morning and, and less stress. And I have a lot of fun and I see, you know, people I've worked with in the past and patients I've worked with in the past and, um, just very, very rewarding in that regard. So, so I guess what advice Tria would you have for people who are in the early stages of this? Uh, maybe they just found it or maybe they've done one deal and, or maybe they've done two or three deals and they hit, they hit a wall. Uh, any practical advice for those folks? Yeah. So two tips that I, I, always give um one is never stop right it's so easy to get frustrated or or and landon is definitely the reason why we kept going because i i'd say you know this is crazy this isn't working and he's like nope nope you know we're, we're gonna we're gonna follow through we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going um and i remember the first boot camp um it, it may have been even the, I'm sorry, the first flight school course where Scott Todd showed the military people moving. Was it a boulder or something? Oh, yeah. yeah. The log. So the, log. The, log. Yeah, the log. And so that always stuck, right? And so you have, there is a hump, right? And sometimes you have to get over that hump. Sometimes more than once you have to get over that. So keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Um, and the second um, piece of advice is stay connected to the community. It's hard if you're out there on an island and, and no one's encouraging you. And we have the Facebook group. We have mighty networks where, you know, I, I tell people on our, our coaching calls, our flight school calls, you can just go in there and say, I'm frustrated. I'm stuck, you know, and the community will kind of rally behind you and encourage you and, and even give you advice on how to get unstuck. So keep moving forward and stay connected. To the community we're all here to support each other awesome land anything from you i mean um no Terry, i've uh, pretty much laid it out like uh, staying connected with the community was one of my biggest and top uh, things that we we did um i felt like really helped us but i think it it just not just us in general like it helps all, so many people just if they connected in the community um and i would say you know one of the things that when you're getting stuck, I think one of the things that is always go back and review the things that you have done. Take note and you've moved and, you know, take note that you've moved forward in some things, mm-hmm. set a new goal and keep going. And every time you get to that, I think that's how you get out of those dips and these humps that you go through. You go back, you review you set a new goal and you keep pushing forward and you just have to keep doing that. And that what I think that ultimately gets you through that next level, um, gets you to, you know, a, a point where this business doesn't just engulf you, um, you know, and keep you just drowning. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. um, I do think that it would help. That helps a lot of people. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and don't compare yourself to others. Right. That, and that's a hard thing. Mm-hmm. In this business. Yes. Um, Very much. You want to, you want to compare yourself to, to Scott Todd or Mark Podolsky or, or Landon and Tria Harris. Um, <laughs> but uh, everybody's journey is their own. And, you know, like I said, I think if you just uh, uh, land in uh, your perspective is really important, right? Um, if, if you're stuck at $500 a month passive income, 
Well, where were you a year ago? Zero, right? You're making $6,000 more a year now than you were a year ago, right? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, keep that, keep that perspective. Uh, community uh, is amazing. The content I think Mark puts out uh, is amazing as well. So to, mm -hmm. to stay abreast of listening to that content and, and engaging. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we, you know, we're able to fill the shoes uh, uh, adequately here of Mark Podolsky uh, since he's gone for the day. Um, the podcast is sponsored by Flight School. Land Geek Flight School is a 16-week journey that takes you from doing no land deals to five or ten land deals uh, in a very short period of time. And if you're interested in that, uh, you can find more information at thelandgeek.com. Um, Mark would very much like for you to subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. Uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to dirt rich too. Mark's been sitting on that thing for a while. Me so. too, man. I don't Did know what he he's doing. Over there. Up about it because I was on vacation. So. <laughs> I didn't hear. <laughs> I think I maybe, yeah, I mean, where's dirt rich too, Mark? It's got to be coming. Uh, I'm excited <laughs> to read that. So, uh, Landon, you're you're the appointed uh, tip of the week guy. So, do you have everything for us today? I think I do. I think I do. Awesome. So um, this tip is basically a continuation of the last tip that we did uh, last week. And that was more of when you're writing ads and when you're putting things on your website, you're trying to get people to be able to search these yeah. ads with certain keywords and buzzwords. So I was really digging around more and I found this website. It's, uh, I can't pronounce it. I think it's a ref, but I'm going to spell it. It's a H R E F S.com. Um, it's a really good website that allows you to do a number of different things. Um, it helps you find keywords that you can put into clusters or make them uh, so that they stand out. It really helps you kind of gives you a, a full picture of, you know, it ranks them. I'll say it that way. It allows you to rank and track words um, and key analysis um, that helps you do some comprehensive things. You can also use this for your website um, from so many different things. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, I think it's one of those where you can pay per month um, or you can pay annually. Um, so I'd say, check it out. Um, definitely give you some good data and some, some ideas if you're struggling in writing ads and uh, you know, getting your website to uh, have some, get some search engine option optimization going. All right. Awesome. Yeah. It looks like uh, 80. Oh no. So a little spendy, right? But a little bit. I don't know. Do they have a free version? No, I haven't found the free version. Yeah. The light. Mm. Not as cheap as I'd like it, but and I'm yeah. looking for less expensive. But this one was a pretty good one, um, pretty comprehensive one that I found. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, that would uh, that's a great recommendation uh, because people are constantly uh, trying to improve their their keywords, their their copy because uh, we need leads, right? We need people landing on our site. So always awesome. Cool. Thank you very much. Um, all right. Well, Mark, I'm, I hope you're having a good time at the, you know, I don't know if you're <laughs> home plunging right now or, or in the sauna at this point or, or what you're doing, but uh, he said he had another meeting. <laughs> the Austin Powers meeting. Austin right? Powers. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen that movie, those movies in a long time. I, I might have to go back and watch. Actually, I might have to watch those with my boys. That would probably be a good thing to, to do. It's been a while. Yes, I find that hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I heard he was going to make one more, but I, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I did too. I did too. I heard that was coming soon. So I, sometimes I love those remakes uh, where they kind of bring them back a little bit, especially those classics. Oh but yeah. It's a high bar though. That's the problem. You got a high bar when you're trying to come after those classic movies like that. It is a high bar. It is. Um, all right. Well, everybody, thank you very much for joining us today. And uh, next week, Mark, I think we'll be back. Uh, if, if he's not back, I'm not hosting. <laughs> 
So <laughs> not it. <laughs> not it. <laughs> Eric or Tate are, are, are jumping in. So right, everybody uh, have a great day. Keep mailing and marketing and uh, keep engaging. Talk soon. See ya. Thanks for listening to the Art of Passive Income podcast. Are you ready to learn how you can start building a passive income without renters, rehabs, renovations, or rodents? Schedule a free consultation at thelandgeek.com forward slash training. Let freedom ring.